Hey friends, I have a brand new wig and I am about to sing its praises. That's right, this is going to be one of those rave reviews of a style and a color that I have fallen in love with. I'm going to tell you all about both, but be ready because I love this brand new style by Ellen Villa. Her name is Relax and she's in the color Metallic Blonde Rooted. Wow, that's all I can say. Wow. If you want to know more, stick around. I am partnering with name brand wigs on this review. They sent me Relax so I could share her with all of you and oh my goodness, you guys, she is darling. Now I chose this color because I've never seen it. I really wanted to spotlight it for everyone. It's absolutely a fashion gray, but it is so fun. Stay tuned for more on this color later in the video. I will link this product below. You can go to the Name Brand Wigs website and check her out. I have a coupon code down there for you as well. And you guys, they are a wonderful, wonderful online retailer that carry all the major name brands. I'm a customer and a fan. Let's take a look at Relax from all sides. Huh. This is a color that's going to get you guys' attention. I'm just going to say that right now. Now, Relax it has high heat, heat-friendly fibers, meaning you can take heat to this. I didn't look up the temperature you can go up to, but enough to add curl if you want to or straighten her. I personally would do nothing to change this style with heat, but why I love heat-friendly fibers on short wigs, number one. They do not have a synthetic shine. A color like this, this bright white, would look really shiny on a regular synthetic piece. And you can handle that with dry shampoo, cornstarch, wearing her often, washing, all of that can take care of shine over time. But with a heat-friendly piece, you do not have to worry about that, and you don't on this one. In addition, I love the way heat-friendly fibers feel. I think they feel really realistic, a lot more like human hair. So on short pieces in particular, my preference is heat friendly every single time. So if you've been avoiding heat friendly because you've heard that they are hard to care for, that can be true on long pieces because the friction on your clothing is really hard on heat friendly wigs. There is no friction happening on this one. You are going to have no trouble whatsoever caring for this piece. You're not going to have to take heat to it regularly because it's not going to get damaged from friction. So please don't be afraid if you wear short wigs. Sure, heat friendly can be challenging. It's not on short pieces. So there you go. Now this one is quite layered and so if you wanted to take some styling cream, my favorite is John Renault Peace Out Cream. You can really get a lot of piecey messiness with this piece because of all these layers. And because of the way they put that darker color at the base, that really plays up that darker color. This isn't like your typical rooted wig. The whole purpose was for the, them to have this contrast. I'm sure of it, especially when I see how they did it in the back. So that is going to be really fun to play with if you like to style your wigs. If you don't, you can really smooth this one out. It doesn't have to be PC and messy. You can tuck at the ear and really honestly you guys I think you can make this really sleek and smooth or you can piece it way out this wig comes in many colors so if you don't love this color go look at the listing at the website there's tons of colors to choose from they'll probably have one that you'd like better if this isn't for you one of my favorite things to do though with short wigs is to wear headbands with them honestly I cannot tell you how much I love short wigs and headbands it is just one of my favorite things to do with a short piece. And then I would take piece out cream. I would, I don't have any down here, so I'm not going to put it on here now, but I would piece this out and mess it up. And this is how I would wear it often. And I'd find some fun, bright colored headbands and really have fun with it. So if you've never tried a short wig before, you're loving the way this looks, but you don't know if short wigs will work for you, please remember, styling helps so much. In the beginning of my journey, I wanted Wanted desperately to like short wigs and I bought a bunch of them and didn't like any of them until I discovered how to style them so that I felt comfortable I really didn't think short wigs were for me now I can wear short wigs because I've learned the secret to being comfortable in them 
In the winter, short wigs are super handy because if you wear scarves and turtlenecks and high neck shirts, this is not going to rub on your clothing. It's not going to get friction. Even regular synthetic can be negatively impacted by friction, just not as quickly as heat friendly. In addition, if you are hot all the time, having a wig that is completely off your neck, off the sides of your face will go a long way in, in helping you to be cooler. Wigs are always gonna be somewhat hot because it's something on your head, but there are ways to mitigate that and short wigs are one of them. Let's talk about this cap construction. We have got a lace front and a mono crown. I'll show you what that looks like when I take off the cap, but let's take a look at that lace front. So there's the lace. It's not a long lace. It goes from here to here. So it's not a lot of lace, but it's enough that if you like to do off the face styling, one of the things I love to do with wigs that have this kind of huge co contrast in color is I like to do a little twist and put a clip in and have that off of my forehead. You can absolutely do that with this one because of that lace front. But let's say you don't like to style your hair that way. This does have a full bang. So you can wear it with bangs, but sometimes people worry about the wind blowing the bangs on a basic cap. This one, you've got that lace, so if it does blow the hair, you don't have to worry about seeing caps. So I really think they did a great job on this lace. It's just enough to give you styling options and security. We've got soft ear tabs with bendable stays and lots of hair sewn in for coverage on the sides, an extended nape, Velcro adjusters, it's all open wefted throughout, and this is the mono crown. Basically, they take monofilament and they put it right at the crown of your head. That can help with natural movement, with how it lays naturally on the top, and it can help sometimes with basic cap wigs, there's this poofiness on the top that is hard for some people, especially new wig wearers. With that mono crown, you really minimize all of that and it just lays super naturally on the top. I don't know that they have huge value to be honest with you, but I definitely think that they can add to realism. Let's talk about permatease. One of the things that's often the case with highly machine made caps is permatease, but this one really doesn't have much. It has a little bit of crimpy fibers. Just honestly, like when I put my hands in the cap, I can feel the crimpy fibers, but there is no traditional permatease on this one. It's not poofy, pillowy. You're not going to get a lot of volume out of this because it's low density and really no permatease. So if you tend to stay away from more basic cap wigs, this isn't a fully basic cap because we have that lace front, we have that mono crown, but we don't have monofilament. And sometimes that means there's a lot of permatease on the top, not in this case. Not only that, but I'm not seeing any visible permatease at all at the part. Some of that could be due to the fact that this root is so dark. That is one way to hide visible permatease is to get a darker root or a darker color overall. But I'm really not sensing any even when I look at it really closely. So I think this one's gonna be okay even in the lighter colors, even in a color with either no root or a light root. That's always a concern with these kinds of wigs but not on this style. And Ellenville is generally known for lower density little to no permatees, and this one is definitely both of those. Let's talk about fit. Ellenville is known for running, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit on the small side. I think this is running pretty, let me look at how I have it cinched in, because I do have it cinched in a little bit, and it's fitting me really nicely, even cinched in some, and so you can see, I have it cinched in, not a ton, but a little bit. I have a 21 and a quarter circumference, and I was able to cinch this a little bit. That tells me that up to a 22 inch circumference, I think you're gonna be just fine. I used to have a 22 inch circumference before I lost a lot of weight, over 80 pounds. Now it's 21 and a quarter. I always have always, always, always worn Ellen Villa wigs comfortably. I've always had more petite over the top of my head, but I have found Ellen Villa to fit me great. I have a little bit of extra cap, so even though I'm very petite over the top of my head, there is room. I think this is running really close to average, maybe slightly smaller than average, but these have pretty good stretch, so I think this is gonna fit a wide variety of people. I'm getting excellent coverage on the sides. These ear tabs come exactly where I like them. Plus, with all that hair sewn in, I don't have to worry about blending my bio hair. Overall, I think this piece is darling, really darling, and really comfortable, 
and fits me really great with room. So overall, this is super, super cute. If you like short wigs, gosh, this one is really nice. If you don't, but you've always wanted to try one, I think this is, could be a good one to try because it's not super poofy and doesn't have a ton of permatease, which is sometimes tough to find in shorter wigs. So I do think this one is gonna work for a lot of people. And even though I don't typically wear grays, I really think I'm gonna be wearing this one. I just love it. All right, let's talk about this color. Metallic Blonde Rooted, the code, which I love that Ellen Villa includes codes, 60.101.51. This is described, let me take it off and <coughs> hold it up so you can see. This is to get me get out of the camera so that it can focus. This is described as a pearl platinum, pearl white and gray blend with dark shaded roots. And those roots are very, very dark, very dark. I think, I think they're black actually. I think we've got black roots on basically a white platinum gray. Now the codes, I have a color code index on my website to help you understand the color codes on synthetic wigs. Color codes on human hair are different. They're not the same. So on synthetic, we're looking at a 60, which is a silver, let me look at what I wrote, silver white, that's a 60, basically a white. A 101 is a platinum, and then a 51 is a gray with some dark brown, and that's exactly what I'm seeing in here. This is a, gosh, it's like a metallic gray. I think that metallic blonde is a perfect description of this. It is a metallic white gray. It is so unique. It's got this, gosh, almost metallic blue tone to it in some light. Not blue. It's really hard to describe you guys, but it's got sort of a metallic-y bluish tint. It's so cool. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Thank you, Name Brand Wigs, for giving me the opportunity to review this one. Oh my goodness. I just am over the moon about both this style and this color. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Leave comments below if you've seen this color and have a good description for your wig sisters. Let's get outside. All right, friends, got some shaded direct sunlight. Is that, a, is that a contradiction in terms? Just a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm just trying to make sure you can actually see that root. We got a big wind coming. You can see how it moves. It's not going to move a ton because it's pretty short. But you can see how that blew up and how that lace front comes in handy. All right, I hope that helped. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.